possible. They're imposters, of course. Hi, my name is Manny, and this is my 72 Corvette. So tell me a little bit about it. How long have you had the car for? I've had the car for 12 years, and I've been working on the car for the past eight and a half. It's almost done. Wire harness, engine, transmission, rear end, you name it. Paint, train off. It is the original blue. No, that's not the original blue. The original color is uh, white. Yeah. But the block, the original engine, it transmission. It has been modified, right? The engine is all stock? Uh, no. I got the big uh, cam. Okay. Heads, it's uh, 1970, 165, 202, 106. Nice. But everything's been done. So, I guess after 12 years, it's a keeper, right? It is. <laughs> You're from uh, Orlando? I'm from Orlando.
Hi, um, I'm Julio Diaz, and this is my 81 Corvette. So this is not the original motor, right? This is not the original motor, no. I bought it just like that. The only thing I did was uh, a new alternator, and basically I bought it like that. The original owner pretty much kept it that way. And uh, Julio, how long have you owned the car? I've owned it for like two years now. Julio, that's the color of my brother. Did you do all the work yourself? Uh, no, yeah, I had fr uh, friends and help uh, do little things here and there. You know, we uh, changed the uh, carburetor from, uh, what was it, I, I think an 850. Sorry. We changed it to a 650. An Edelbrock. Right, Edelbrock. And then we did the, we changed the covers, we put the 383 covers. And of course the wheels, we did the, the wheels ourselves. We put them in. Those are boards, the seven, seven, 17 in the front, 18 in the back, and the side pipes are there, part of the car. They do have a... Do you have a spacer? A spacer, yeah, okay. to make it a little bit more wide. Gotcha. I didn't want to go too far because it might interfere with the car or whatever, so I put a spacer, I didn't want to get too much of a big tire. Gotcha. I don't, just want it to look that way. And this has uh, always been a Florida car, or did it come from somewhere else? It was, it's been a Florida car, yes. Okay. Yeah. And we did the radio, of course. Oh, I see. Yeah, we upgraded the radio. So pretty much it came like that when I bought it. Except for the tires and the Edelbrock Brock and, and little things here and the steering wheel, of course. But I love it. I love this car.
whole reason it was different there is because yeah. of the stock that you can't see through the wing. The line's high enough. I'm Mike, welcome to Kissimmee. This is where I'm from, and this is my 1980 Corvette. Uh, we've had the car for about two years, my wife and I. Um, it's got the original 350 small block in it. Um, I did do a couple of performance upgrades to it. Uh, we did the EGR delete on it. It's got a four barrel carburetor on it, updated distributor. Um, we did delete a lot of the pollution control stuff on it, like the smog pump and what have you. She is a little bit of a, I call, ugly duckling. Um, she's a little rough, but she's a driver. And that's what we wanted. We wanted something that we could take out on Sundays and we can go to a restaurant and, and not have to worry about, you know, if something, God forbid, was to happen to it. Um, but yeah, this is her, man. She's solid. She's got a TH350 transmission and automatic, you know, T-tops. And she's just a fun little cruiser. And you've had the car for? About two years, going on two years. So we've had other Corvettes before, C6s, C7s. Uh, this is our first classic Corvette. Uh, like I said, uh, the interior needs a little bit of work still. And, but I just actually got her back on the road uh, this couple days ago. So. And what are your long-term plans for it? Anything? Um, I'm kind of in the mix about it right now because I kind of want to find a Rex C6 and do the whole LS3 swap with the Shiftronics transmission and everything. But. Part of me wants to keep it old school as much as possible because I feel like it's kind of sacrilegious. You don't see too many of this body style, this color, and um, you know the old school at heart says keep it old school. So I think that's what we'll probably just do is just keep it the way it is and just keep working the gremlins out and keep enjoying it. Is this your first C3 car? Yes, yes it is. Okay, and uh, it won't be my last. <laughs> any particular reason why uh, you chose the C3? Well, I mean, you have several options. We, well, I think it was more of like we're such '80s fans. Me and my wife, we grew up in the '80s. You know, we're both in our our late '40s, and um, 
I just something about the color scheme that we saw. We we found the car on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, right. and it was just something about this color. They just it just it grabbed us, and I, I, me and my wife were like, "Yo, we gotta have it." We didn't have a Corvette at the time. We had gotten rid of our C7. We wanted to get back in the game, and we we're like, "We're gonna do it, but we're gonna do a classic style." And and this just fit the bill perfect. Awesome. So. Well, cool. And that's that's where we're at right now with her, you know. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Good thank you. Car. Thank you. So this is our first uh, car show, actually. So. Yeah, that's about the same thing. So if he came, this would have been basically the car you would have rode in. Hi there, I'm Terry Wood. So I've got a 1972 Corvette convertible. I used to have a 72 T-top. And when I moved here in January, I decided I wanted to come here to Old Town. And this is great on the brickyard. But I found a 72 white, everything I wanted, black, black interior. So I went down to look at it and it was already gone. 
I was kind of disappointed and I saw this. Uh, looking at the green here just really impressed me. So I took it for a test drive and I, I, it was talking to me. I fell in love with it. So I didn't have my heart set on saddle interior green, green car and it just it popped at me. So I decided let's go for it. I got this car. July is when I took delivery of it and it's been a great new chapter to my life with this. After a T-top, now you got a convertible. I come here to Old Town all the time. It's a original uh, numbers matching engine. Uh, it says 31,000 miles on it. Uh, underneath looks like it. So they did repaint this, but it's the original Elkhart Green. And they really did a good job with it. It's got a black top. Everything, everything works but the clock. Did it come with a hard top as well? Uh, yes, in fact, it's the original hard top with the black uh, uh, vinyl on it. So not very many of those cars had it. You know, that green really shows. Uh, so, the most beautiful shades of green. Yeah, but like I said, uh, if it was just a Corvette, any color, it'd just be a Corvette. But the green, everybody makes a comment about the green. And honestly, when I was looking for a car, I could not stand that saddle interior. It was just like, are you kidding me? It works well with the green though, right? Absolutely. Yes. I, that's what is like yeah. floored me. Yeah. There was no way I would pick a saddle interior. I wanted black. It hides everything. Well, congratulations. So, it's a well, great looking car. Thank you. I'm having fun here at Old Town. I've been, I'm going to come every weekend and it's hard to work on the car so I can keep coming here, you know? I was telling them you bought the, the aluminum engines where they were built. I told them you work with the aluminum case too, right? Remember in the front?
Hello, my name is Angel, and this is my 1974 Corvette Stingray that was completely restored. It has a an endurance polished aluminum double fan radiator with a mock performance serpentine belt on it. It has a aluminum Elderbrock intake manifold. It has a polished aluminum Harley 750 double pump carburetor on it. And of course, it has a 383 stroker with 490 horsepower. It's got headers on it, ceramic coated headers on there. And as we come to the outside, it has uh, 18 inch rims on it with uh, Willwood brake calibers. It has the side pipes on it. And it also has QA1 um, coilovers, which that's how I brought the car down to where you get just get one finger between the fender and the wheel gives it nice traction when you're on the highway it has in the inside a the whole interior was redone it used to be beige it's all black now with a black convertible top it has all digital instruments in the dashboard and um, has a brand new convertible top on it the rear end was dropped down also with the QA1s. It has a little custom padding on the hood. And the car's been completely restored, repainted. And it's a beautiful car. <laughs> How long have you had it? Uh, I have the car now about 10 years with the car. And um, I put quite a bit of money into the car. I bought the car for 15000 and I put 45000 more into it, so I have $60,000 sitting right there. But it's a fun car to drive. It drives pretty much like a brand new car. Yeah, sure. yeah. uh-huh. Pretty much. It drives better than what it drove when it was brand new. Oh, I'm sure. Well, Is this a Florida car? Or did it yes, come? it's a Florida car. I'm up okay. in uh, Davenport, which is fairly close to here, which is uh, Kissimmee, which is the old famous Old Town, which is home away from home. I'm always here. So if you ever want to see the car, just come down to Old Town. It's always here in Old Town. But uh, this is the Vet Fest, and uh, it's a special day. It's once a year. Yep. And you can come here, and you can see plenty of vets, because they're all here. Uh-huh. So you're most welcome. It's a pleasure.